Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux First Impressions. I decided after reviewing Doodoo last week, that's Doodoo Linux, which is a children's based Linux distribution, and we're so close to Christmas right now that I thought I would just go ahead and keep that theme going for at least one more week just because it's kind of fun to look at a few of these distros that have been made just for kids. So this week we're looking at Quimo Linux and unfortunately Quimo which looks like they were doing a good job of getting this introduced into the school system and being used in a lot of different educational areas it looks like the project according to DistroWatch that it is dormant now but at least it means it hasn't been abandoned so hopefully they'll get back in there because this does look very promising it's very nice I do have some concerns about this version of Linux and I'll get into that in just a moment but comparing it with Doodoo Linux from last week it's very similar it has a lot of the same applications and right here you're seeing the main screen that pops up it is using XFCE and it's kinda got you know some of the their favorites already up here and of course as I reviewed in Doodoo -doo Linux everything kind of is child friendly easy to get into and work uh, the kids that I have were excited to try this one out I haven't actually put it on their computer yet to see how they like it like the other one you can run it from the ISO or you can burn it to a USB stick and run it from there I think though you might be able to install this one but I didn't because once again it doesn't have a lot of the features a standard distribution has to just keep it safe so you know that was the uh, tux paint there now they have a normal menu system which you're used to seeing in most distributions which can be a little daunting for a child and I think that's what I liked about Doodoo -Doo Linux a little bit better is that everything they needed to use and everything they'd want to use was in a simple graphic interface menu system that that didn't confuse them with going through here and and what I'm afraid of with small children for instance is just like back in the early 80s when my father had a old Oz well not an old it was brand new Osborne uh, CPM system and I was just a little eight-year-old kid learning to program in basic and using debug and assembler and that sort of thing I kinda got into some stuff and messed up some assembly programs by hitting the wrong keys and messing a few things up because everybody knows no matter what you tell a little child not to do that's exactly what they're gonna do they're gonna watch what you do and get right in there and think oh, I can do this too let's run G parted that looks like it looks like a fun game and so because of that I don't like this menu system here it it gives too much opportunity for your children with this for, for instance if they're not paying if you're not paying attention to what they're getting into to get in there and kind of mess some stuff up and even if you're you're booting this from a normal system then it's possible they could get in there and, and accidentally just really hose things that being said and that's why like I said I, I like the way Doodoo did theirs last last week with Doodoo Linux they do have some great games here uh, the G Compass, uh, Tux Math for example in fact I was quite surprised I was trying out Tux Math and I brought this up and I know my daughter really enjoys this game and you can play alone play with friends and you go in here you've got a couple different uh, things that you can do and simple addition subtraction and I'm trying to remember where I was I think I might have been on play art yeah this is where it was I was playing the space cadet here and of course for 
a six to eight year old this is really good simple math easy to get into and I thought well how hard does this get because I mean does this have a a an age group that you know it's just too elementary for them so I decided I'll go to commando and see what it's like and man was I surprised I mean look at this here we've got negative 1 minus x plus minus 6 plus or minus 12 equals negative 37 you know I know it's been a long time since I've done math but I'm not so sure I could even solve that equation in enough time for it to come down here and not blow up these Eskimo villages here I mean, some of these simpler ones yeah I can figure that out but yeah, I'm not going to even attempt to try to figure that out during this video. I'm just going to let them all explode. But, you know, some of this, so it, it, it does get to be a little bit more advanced than what, you would have, than what you would think there. And I think that's pretty good because, I mean, if, if a child enjoys it at age 8, I think they'd still enjoy this game, for instance, even at age 13 or 14, you know, with the added complexity that is brought to it. Oh. Quimo, um, like I said, I went to their website. I saw that they have gotten this into a lot of the school systems where where they where it's built. I'm not remembering what country this is from. This might be a United States distro. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. I should have looked that up. In fact, let me look that up real quick, and I'll get right back to you. And I was right about that. This is a USA distribution. Yeah. If we go on through here, for instance, uh, like I said, we have the educational games there, some regular games. Uh, the G -comp Compress has some really nice things built into it. Simple for children to find. As I said, though, because of the way this menu system is, you may want to start some of these applications for your children to try them out. Or if you don't want to be concerned about them messing things up, I would go to the Doodoo Linux and use it because it has all these things in a simple, easy to use menu. And I'm not, and I'm not saying this is a bad distribution because of it. I'm just saying I have some concerns about letting my children. My my children will listen to me really well, and if I tell them don't go into settings, don't go into accessories, yeah. Although with their system right now, it's just Linux Mint, and it has a lot of these programs installed. And I've created shortcuts on their desktop so that they can just go straight to those shortcuts and open them up. And I just tell them not to use the menu system. If they want to look at other things, I, I, I ask them why, and then I go ahead and just create a shortcut for them on their desktop so they don't have to worry about that. And if we keep on going here, uh, you can see by just kind of looking at these that it is full featured. It has an MP3 player in there and a movie player and your mixers and all that. Uh, Firefox browser is installed and everything you expect to see of course inside an XFCE system as well. Yeah. My kids really enjoyed playing with the Doodoo Linux last week and I think they had so much fun that when I told them I was doing another children's distribution they were really excited to try this one out too. I don't have their comments for this one just yet but I'm sure because it does have some of the same features as the last one that they will enjoy it and as I said unfortunately this is a dormant uh, distribution and that doesn't mean that that it may uh, become live again in the future it just means at this time nothing has really been done with it and I looked at their website and it looks like they haven't done anything on it for more than a year so I'm not sure if they have abandoned it and it just hasn't gotten to that abandoned stage but as a snapshot OS I think it's great it still works it still does what it needs to do to entertain your children and it's still something that you could play with and your kids could really enjoy to get into Linux I do think though 
if I had to compare Quimo, and I've said, I guess I've said it a couple times now already, between Quimo and Doodoo Linux, I do like the Doodoo Linux a little bit better. I think it had a few more applications too that were children based. But I really like the graphics. I love this polar bear right here and the Eskimo and, and just the whole look and feel to it. It, it, it just is really enjoyable. I actually like the way this looks though a little bit better than some of the graphics that they used inside of Doodoo Linux. But all in all, A+. You know, very fun very nice to have and it's good that there are some other solutions out there for all different age groups because I think that it's good to introduce your children to other operating systems other than just what they have in the common place such as Microsoft because if you can get them to understand the basics of computers at a young age just like myself you know when my father was sent back to school by the military in the early 80s to get his master's degree you know he bought that old I keep saying old because this was oh 31 32 years ago when he did this uh, but when he bought an Osborne to to do his work yeah you know, that was probably one of the best things that he ever did for me because I learned basic programming on it I learned how to do some assembly language and debug programming and at the time I was my daughter's age. I was only eight years old at the time. And because of that foundation I got at such an early age uh, working with computers, when he, my dad bought a 286 back in 87, I kind of inherited the Osborne. I was doing, before most of my kids in my class were typing up their assignments and doing hand, you know, they were still doing handwritten stuff. I was turning in typewritten assignments in, in elementary school and, and, early junior high and that was a a good learning experience for me because I got a good background and a good solid education with that so I think it's really good especially in today's day and age when most kids couldn't use an abacus to save their lives but they ought to at least know how to use a computer and this is a good introduction to it so this is the last video probably before Christmas and I hope that whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or, or any of the other uh, big holidays that occur during this time, I do hope that you're safe, that you enjoy your time with your family, that you have a good time. Keep trying out Linux. Keep looking at all the distributions. I'll be back in another week with, I was thinking about looking at Tutu Linux because it kind of looks interesting. It's a lightweight version of Linux based on Puppy Linux. And I've been wanting to do a Puppy Linux distribution. So I may try to look at Tutu for next week for the distrib last distribution of the year before we hit 2014. I won't promise anything, but we'll see. Thank you for watching. Whether it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, enjoy it. Do have a good, safe holiday. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye.